Hey, bud! Who hasn't had his proper dose of Seroquel today? Ha! Huh! Usually on 400, I'm on 200, and that is not maintainable! Feels like your fucking brain's on fire. It's really shitty. But welcome back to another fucking explosive, idiotic fucking thing. Can't calm down, can't really, can't get it. Whoa! What's truly on display here is just how sad and manic I get when I'm just trying to understand the feeling and trying to separate myself outside of it. So, this is honestly what we get. And I, and you know, I seem to come out of it pretty quickly. You know, we see. Let's see. Ho! Oh! Wow! My brain is on fire! Okay, um, so, uh, basically, nearest I can figure. Uh, yesterday, I had two, I had one, Seroquel, I had one, a single 200 tab, BT Dove. Newsflash! It does not, it does not, it does not defend against mania number one. Oh! A few days ago, I almost didn't want to take it. And now I'm just like, I just need more of it because it's filled and it's fucking waiting a goddamn target. But yeah, you know, like besides that, besides that little bit, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> It isn't. It really, it really, truly is not fine. Ugh. I have new glasses, if you didn't notice. Yeah, you know, I only look like a gay Power Ranger now. What's happening? But yeah, no, having a mania is great. I love having a mania. Manias are my favorite. I love the manly app. It's about a goob. Not. It's not. Not at all. But yeah, god damn it. It really is indicative of how my life is when I just feel like I'm caught in a fucking bear trap. All that shit. Um, look how much, look how, look how it's different I look. I look like a, I look like a supermodel. Because I'm in 4K. 4K, baby. 4K 60. You never expected an EXE chat to be 4K at 60, bitch. So that's new. This is new. It's, a, it's fancy. Nothing, nothing alarmingly new in my life besides massive feelings of malaise uh my stomach feels honestly like a fucking tuba explodes in it like every fucking day uh my mom always seeks to remind me that she's sick as well she's like oh, i'm sick too and it's like motherfucker i'm not trying i'm not looking for comparison i'm not looking i'm looking to i'm looking to trade fucking trading cards with our disabilities and our and our broken bodies but yeah um my brother is in is in missouri right now you know He'll be there for a while. He's trying to get a job in New York City because uh, he has to relive portions of his life because his life doesn't move forward. It only has to move constantly back and he has to go back to find a place where he was happy. Trust me, I understand. But the thing that is just crazy that's been happening recently is um, I haven't been, I haven't been crazy manic, like recently um and like if i do i try to redirect it i try to do other stuff all that shit but um yeah today is not a good day today is just a bad day to be me and that's fine that's fine it's have a shitty day to be me but um when i turn my head you can see how bad my haircut is like what is that who did that who did that to you I did. Recently, I fell in love with the film Sindoc or the New York. It's a, it's a Charlie Kaufman film that stars Philip Seymour Hoffman that absolutely just took my brain and ran with it. And I just, I really just want to take every opportunity I can to tell people to see it because truly it was amazing. So honestly, a laugh.exe first. Go watch Sindoc New York on Netflix and you won't fucking regret it because, oh my God, it was some of the best filmmaking I've ever seen.